All right, welcome back to PC Building Simulator 2. We've got an exciting update we're gonna check out today. We're here on the home screen. We got we are up to version 1.3, and there are some some truly exciting new things in this update that I'm pretty pumped to run through with you all. So uh, you can see here we've got a new case from Fantex. That's gonna be kind of a big theme in the update, uh, but there's a bunch of other stuff. So we're gonna dive into free build mode, and we're gonna check out everything that's new in version 1.3 of PC Building Simulator 2. All right, here we are in the workshop. First of all, let's check out one of the things. Let's set the mood because we've got some changes to the decorator app. Uh, but yeah, actually, so there's some small changes to the decorator app, I think, with like basically like instead of it's like there's what not pagination or something. It's I don't know. They said something about pagination, but now I'm not actually seeing it. Um, and yeah, you can do an apply to all. So that's kind of cool. So like I think you can choose workbench. And what does the, yeah, so apply to every workbench all at once. This is a little bit framey uh, right now, but yeah, so it applies to all workbenches all at once, which is pretty cool. It's kind of helpful. Uh, you can apply, I guess I don't know what apply to wall, apply to all would do for the walls because, is it applying the theme to every, no, it's not not really doing that, I don't think. Um, so there's some some slight changes here. This is, this is a very, it's really thinking hard about what to change? Is that that is actually changing everything? I think. Let's let's try space. I don't think that's gonna change. So that's changing the wall, the ceiling, not the desk, but it's changing the walls and the ceiling all in one. Okay, interesting. So just a little bit of change. Okay, but anyways, what's interesting here? Apocalyptic. We got a new free uh, workshop theme that we're gonna check out. Let's apply to all. So we've got concrete walls. We've got like a bunker style ceiling. Uh, let's see, we've got apocalyptic office desks. Let's choose that and we'll apply to all some disheveled drawers there. Uh, is that, yeah, look, it's apocalyptic. It's kind of cool. Performs much better when you're not in the decorator app. We've got, you know, Stuff growing around. Cool. So we're gonna you know, we're gonna rock this. This is gonna be our theme because this is all new. The apocalyptic theme. Uh, not bad. Added just with the update for free. Nothing nothing else to it. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, okay, cool. Let's jump into everything that's different. So we've got a bunch of new parts. Um, we can run through that, but I'm gonna run through some of the big the things that are really exciting. So we've got new new partner on this build. Um, new case partner, Fantex. They've previously had some cases in Peace Building Simulator 1. I don't know if they just not had any cases in this one, but now we've got some new cases from Fantex as the partner in this. So we've got um, we've got their Enthu Pro 2, the Eclipse G500A, there's a couple versions of that, G360A, and the Evolve X. So we've got all of those here. Uh, the Evolve X, oh, the Evolve X is only Mentor, okay. Uh, Enthu Pro is a full tower. That was, I think, the one that we saw on the the start screen was this version right here, I believe. It looks like it. Um, so, yeah, so we got a bunch of cases from Fantex, which is pretty cool. We've got some cases from, some from other vendors as well. Um, but Fantex is kind of like the, the new partner that's exciting in this update. So that's that. We're going to run through parts. But first, before we do that, I'm going to run through what I think is the most exciting part of this whole update. Um, so we got the decorators theme, which was pretty cool. We got... Fantex is a new partner, which is great. But what I'm really excited about is actually over here on the water cooling bench. And I haven't looked at this, so we'll, we'll see exactly how this works. Uh, so, so, okay, so we can, we of course already had motherboards, memory, graphics cards, and I don't think we had a custom water cooling tab, but now we do. Yeah, this is new, this is new. I'm so excited about this. I've been asking for this for so long. Uh, we can change the fans on radiators, uh, presumably to anything we want. I don't know. We're going to find out right now because I haven't looked at this. This is going to be pretty cool. So here's all the radiators we have in the game. We've got the big fatty boy Regentech, uh, Regentech ones. We've got Corsairs. We've got EK. So, oh yeah, this is going to be so good. We've got, we've got the Alpha Cool ones. Okay, cool. So let's like do like, let's do Alpha Cool's 360 round. So we can come in here and it comes with these Be Quiet black fans normally, which are, which are not bad, um, but now we can take them off. So we're doing this on the water cooling bench. Uh, I removed the screws. Okay, that was weird. That took like a second to think about it. Now we select the radiator to choose new fans. And look, we've got basically any 120 mil fan. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Yes. Oh, 
This is gonna act, this is seriously gonna open, open up so many new possibilities. Man, I'm pumped. Okay, so like we could do Corsair's IQ QL120s, which are really nice looking RGB fans. Throw those on there. Bam! Oh, and then we store it. This is this is the best. This is so good. This is, thank you. This is like, I don't even know how, how long I've been wanting this. Um, what happened to this build? I don't know. Uh, but basically, well, I could, I could move this radiator out. I don't, I don't know what I was doing in here. Some sort of thread ripper. Whoa, that was extremely fast. Why did that remove so fast? Uh, and then what? I can go to custom water cooling and it'll be in here somewhere. Uh, maybe. There it is. Got to find it. It's a little tricky. Alpha Cool with Corsair fans. Oh my gosh, it's happening. It's amazing. And actually that will just wire up. And bam, just to show you. I mean, obviously nothing's plumbed here, but we did it. It's, it's custom it's, it's custom water cooling with any fan we want. <sighs> it's the best feature ever. That's honestly the biggest thing in the update. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Can you tell I'm, I'm pretty excited? It's going to make building custom water cool builds like so awesome man so good so that's that um you can do it with any of the or any of the radiators in the game and it seems like any of the 120 mil fans in the game and maybe someday well i guess also probably 140 if we do um a radiator that would be 140 so like if we have a 280 here's our 280 rad from alpha cool as well so these would be two 140 fans so then i presume pretty much any 140 mil fan in the game there you go pretty awesome Probably the greatest thing ever. You could do a weird white fan on black radiator. There you go. I don't know if I'd super love it, but there it is. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. That's so good. So yeah, that's cool. Okay, let's run through the new parts. Um, knowing knowing that we've got that part out of the way, which is which is really exciting. So, um, oh, also I guess one thing I should mention too. There's some changes to how faulty parts work in the game. So. Um, I'll be curious to try this in like the campaign mode when we actually deal with faulty parts. Um, but like faulty, like faulty fans will be louder and they'll actually like stutter when they spin. And um, you'll be able to see in like the thermal app. So when we use like the thermal app, we'll be able to actually see faulty components because they'll get hotter. So that's pretty cool. Um, so that's kind of an interesting change. We'll just check that out in campaign mode pretty soon because I can't really demonstrate that in free build. Um, okay, but yeah, let's get into new parts here. So uh, let's do cases. So we already talked about Fantex. So we've got those new Fantex cases. So we've got, uh, what, one, two, six cases from Fantex that are new. That's awesome. Uh, we've also got two new cases from Height. We've got Height's Y60 in Snow White and the Y40. So those are pretty cool. Those are pretty unique. That'd be fun to build. So those are cube style uh, and they actually go all the way up to EATX motherboards. So they do they do fit standard and large motherboards actually. Uh, but pretty cool, kind of a fish tank, fish tank style something. I don't know. Uh, and then actually, this is one I'm pretty excited about. Lee and Lee. So we've always had the Land Cool one. We totally skipped, and of course we have the O11. Uh, we totally skipped the Land Cool 2, which it, it hurts because in real life I have a Land Cool 2 mesh and it's not in the game and I'm sad. But they do have the Land Cool 3 now, which is pretty cool. So that's a new one, Land Cool 3 and then Land Cool 3 ARGB. Um, so those are two cases from Lee and, Lee and Lee, which is pretty awesome. So that's all the cases. So a couple from Height, a uh, couple from Lee and Lee, and then uh, the six from Fantex, which is pretty awesome. Okay, motherboards. Actually, no, CPU. We got one new CPU, so we've always had the 13900K, and now we have the 13900KS, which is the same thing, but just like binned, and so yeah, it can hit six gigahertz easily. So that's pretty awesome. Just a little bit more power there uh, with the 13900KS. So pretty expensive. Gee, what was their price on that? Yeah, compared to 845 for the 900K and the 900KF, 900KS comes in with a quite a quite a premium there. $300 premium, that's impressive for a little bit better overclocking. Um, what did they say, like 6% better performance, something like that? Okay, uh, good, deal. good, 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 good. Let's get into liquid coolers. This, this is an interesting order we're gonna go into. So we've got a few new um, AIOs. Oh, what am I doing? CPU cooling peripherals? Is peripherals a tab before? Is that new? Am I, do I just not, I may like some standing not at a bench. I think that might be why. Uh, okay, liquid cooling. But yep, I'm just gonna keep clicking things until I find the right thing. Yep, okay, here we go, here we go, here we, here we go. Uh, type, okay, not air. Please, liquid, thank you. 
Uh, okay, cool. So we've got uh, two from Antex. We've got Antex Vor Vortex 240 and their 360. So why are these in a weird order? Okay, 240 RGB and then their 360 RGB is down here. So those are actually kind of cool looking. Their, their pump block is, is kind of fun. Um, and then we've got three AIOs from EK. Wow, that's fun. So EK now has AIOs in the game. That's a first. Cool. So 360, 240, and 120. Uh, yeah, there you go. Neat. Now we can't change fans on AIOs. Those I assume are, are I know that they're locked, but there you go. So uh, EK water blocks stepping in with an AIO in the game now. That's kind of fun. Uh, motherboards. We've got some new other water cooling stuff we'll talk about too. Um, but first let's do motherboards. We've got just a few new ones here. I really wish that they still sorted like they put all the new ones at the bottom because that was really convenient in Peace Wings Winter 1. But it is not a thing anymore. Man, the scrolling is. Uh, so we've got MSI Pro. Really? These are all match MSI Pro. Uh, B650P Edge Wi Fi. That is new. We have MSI MPG B650 Edge Wi Fi. Uh, oh boy. Beep, 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 beep. Maybe. I don't know. Dude, I don't see it. B650. Oh, there it is. Okay. Silver. That's that's fun. Interesting. And then we've got ASRock B650 uh, PG Lightning. So there you go. A bunch of new B650 boards. Because I don't think we've had that many. How, many. how many B650 boards we have? Okay. So these are the only B650 boards in the game. Okay. Cool. Neat. So yeah, so we got three new ones for uh, AMD's AM5 socket, which is nice because can I let's see socket? How many how many AM5 boards do we have at this point? Yeah. So we did not. We had two, and now we have five, which is a big improvement. Obviously, 670s are the more performance oriented ones. The B650 a little less, but uh, that's nice. So good to have some B650 boards in the game. Uh, power supplies. We just got a couple. Again, not like this is not super, super interesting. Uh, VS500 and VS600 from Corsair, both non-modular power supplies. 500 watts, 600 watts. Cool, that's that. This power supply is not that exciting. Uh, we've got a bunch of new custom water cooling stuff. Let's look at that. That's gonna be the last one we look at here. So we've got new, what, CPU blocks? And some GPU blocks and mono block as well. And it's all from EK water blocks. Let's see, uh, it's gonna be momentum and then quantum velocity. So quantum velocity, this was actually also on the home screen there, it was sitting there, uh, AM4 water block, cool. It's interesting that the AM4 being so uh, rectangular, but I guess, it, I guess it works, huh. And then yeah, quantum velocity here, we've got the like nickel version and then kind of that clear, clear plexi version. And then we had everything else. We had all that. We had the supremacy. So yeah. So we've got M4 ones. We've got 17. We've got the. Uh, am I in a? Oh, I'm not in a. So we also should have. Oh yeah. We've got ones for M4. We've got ones for LGA 1700. Um, we don't have anything for Ripper, right? No. 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 That's it. So just the 1700 uh, socket and the M4. So we've got Plexi and Asphalt there. So that's you know, you know four four new. Four new blocks from EK, and then we should we should have some GPU blocks. Uh, and where do we? Where can I just see the GPU blocks? Can I see them the same way? I don't. I can't, right? Because these are going to be blocks that are going to go on the RTX 3080, 30, and 30. Oh no, actually only 3080s. I guess we'll just look at one of them. So like, let's go over. Uh, there's a few GPUs that they're going to fit, but where am I? Hello? Okay. Uh, there's a few GPUs that they're going to fit, but I do know that the For the Win 3 3080 is one of them. So if we go in here, we'll just pull this off really quick. This is this is very fast, I promise. Except for all these thermal pads. I don't know if there's a better way to look at this. I don't know if I can just like look at this in my inventory. But we can definitely look at it here, and I guess we can put it on, which will which will be cool. So we'll just do this quick. We can say we were thorough. Boy, the quality of graphics on this uh, graphics card just seems a little not great to me. Okay, so uh, quantum vector of the new blocks. Quantum vector 2. 
this one. Sorry, we had these. Okay, Quantum Vector 2. And we only, ha we have a nickel, it's nickel and plexi, but that's it. Okay, a little bit nickel, mostly plexi. Okay, got it, cool. So we have this, this exact block for, in this case, the 4, the 1, 3. It will also fit, we have one for the, uh, I don't know, RE? I think that's supposed to be Founders Edition, FE, I'm guessing. And then also the Strix cards. So I'm assuming they all look fairly similar. Obviously, the Founders Edition one will probably be pretty small, but there it is on the For the Win 3, which looks kind of interesting, actually. Very, very translucent. Uh, so yeah, so those are new. Uh, that's it. I think that's all the new parts. So a little bit, a little bit painful there having to find the the GPU blocks, but yeah, there you go. That's all the new parts. We got a, we got a few new cases, which I always get excited about. A couple of motherboards, B650s, uh, the 3900KS, and uh, a couple other parts just to kind of you know pepper in there, a few, few little water cooling things here and there. But mostly, biggest thing, we can change out fans on radiators. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Uh, so yeah, there you go. That's been the 1.3 update. Peace Building Simulator 2. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you didn't join, we'll see more videos of Peace Building Simulator 2 or any other games we've been playing. Be sure to subscribe. And either way, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.